Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing okay. Uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Laura and I make paint by numbers videos. Today I want to talk to you about this. You see it here on the left, two sevens close to each other, which is a mistake that the company made in creating this paint by numbers design. Now, what do you do if you have a problem like this? And maybe you have even worse problems. Today's video will talk about how we can try to fix it and maybe when you just have to ask the company for a refund. Personally, if it isn't a very big mistake, I try to fix it myself because we waited a long time for these paint by numbers and I just want to paint them. <laughs> Get started. So the problems I've experienced with this canvas that you can see here um, again is the number sevens. So there are multiple number sevens in paint pots, three to be exact, which you can see here in the bottom right corner. And that's the most paint that I got for a single number. Now, when we look at the canvas though, that's where the problem arises. So the computer, I think, made a mistake here because you can see there are two number sevens next to each other and so there shouldn't be an extra area for this small number seven here in the middle. So then I thought, okay, maybe this seven is supposed to be one and you can't really tell the difference. But then if you look a bit more to the left, you have this white shaded area. There it's clearly a one. So because it's nice that this canvas is already shaded with the blues and whites and so on, I don't think this ex second seven is supposed to be one. The, all the paint numbers, like one to 18, they also have another code. And for the number sevens, those codes are all the same. So it's not that accidentally a number like that it was messed up there. It did exactly the same shade. So the mistakes with the seven, because seven is a background color, happens mostly in the background. So that there's a bit less detail of maybe one shade less of blue. It's okay by me. And as you can see here as well, the number sevens, I just painted all the same. I just continue painting seven across the borders, which feels weird, but solves the problem here, right? So if you have something similar and it's definitely a mistake from the company, but it doesn't affect your paint by numbers that much and you can still finish the painting with, well, you still very enjoy it, just make it your own. Make it like these mistakes will make your painting stand out from the others. So don't let it discourage you and enjoy your paint by numbers. Now, if the mistakes are more drastic, as in you didn't receive all the, the paint that you needed, maybe they forgot a, a number or got lost in transit or whatever, you should email the company and ask if they can still send this paint. Or maybe other paint related issues like um, it opened <laughs> during transport and there's no paint left or often, uh, well it depends on where you buy it from of course, but they might be really ha very helpful in sending you new paint. Sometimes you have to pay for, I've, I've seen some companies where you have to pay for the shipping, for the extra paint, which might be 
a few pounds, I would assume. So that might not be too bad if you, then you can still enjoy your paint by numbers. And if it comes wrinkled or folded, I already have a video about that and you can easily iron the canvas to get those out um, so you can enjoy your paint by numbers and you straight away <laughs> and what other mistakes could there be if I forgot a mistake or from the company or anything let me know in the comments and maybe others in the community or I can help and see if we can fix it ourselves right because Ultimately, we just want to enjoy the painting and not wait again a couple of weeks before it arrives. Uh, another one. And you chose this design for a reason, so I bet you're excited to start painting it. Another annoying mistake that I can think about is that it doesn't come with a reference sheet, which would be really nice to have with every paint by numbers you do. A tip for that one is to take pictures with your phone of the whole paint by numbers, which has an extra benefit that you can zoom in if the numbers are really small. So that one is easily resolved by doing that. Which makes me think, there are also canvases where you sometimes have an area without a number. So that the lines are so close that you yeah the area basically looks like without a number. For these ones I would say give it your own inspiration. Um, try what feels right for you for this particular area. Um, you have to know what what it's supposed to be. You know if you're working on a house then maybe the the background color of the stones or a window seal and you just continue with the ones that were a bit on the right or the left just have a look at your paint for numbers and see what makes sense for you and give your own touch to it don't be afraid to personalize it a bit in those ways and just go with the flow and what feels right for your paint by numbers um it doesn't have to be exactly the one that has the number in it always there might be equally there might be areas where you're like yeah i think this is an artifact from the computer painting converting to computer paint by numbers that this is just a blob that i don't want it to be and i just continue painting the background color don't be afraid to give it your own personal touch if small mistakes like that happen. You are a great artist, we all are. So just do it and if afterwards if you don't like it, you can always change it. You can always add another color on top of it and fix it if you didn't like it in the, what you did. All right. So that's it for today. I hope you found this useful. Equally, I hope you don't have that much trouble with your paint by numbers. Um, I hope you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. I really appreciate it. And I love to see you again on Thursday with a new Paint With Me uh, paint by numbers session. Bye.